Hi guys, welcome. We're back again. We're back again with Big Bang Fairy guys. So far, it's season three. We're enjoying it. Today, we're going to react to episodes three and episodes four. Double bubble, as always. Guys, just subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel. And guess what, though? Check out the membership scheme if you'd like to support me any further than this. Let's get down to business. Let's go. Oh no, why she moved in? No, no. <laughs> Dance with me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Subscribe to the many worlds theory, which posits the existence of an infinite number of Sheltons. And <laughs> None of them am I dancing. Oh, wow. Are you fun in any of them? No. The math would suggest that in a few, I'm a clown made of candy. <laughs> but I don't dance. It's toast? It's oatmeal day. Next French toast day, I will make you oatmeal. Lord, are you still going to be here on French toast day? <laughs> Penny made French toast. Schedule yet. You did it. I cal download, she can put it right in her phone. <laughs> I thought we agreed that you'd have your conjugal visits in her apartment. There were extenuating circumstances. Like what? Did her abysmal housekeeping skills finally trump her purse? Guys, she's literally dead. No, her bed kind of broke. Get it, get that it down, get it, business down, guys. Oh God, he doesn't get it. A normal sized human being wouldn't cause a structural failure. <laughs> Doesn't get it. A homunculus? Perfectly formed miniature human being. You're my little homunculus. <laughs> Don't do that. Cinnamon sugar. I want oatmeal. A friend whose roommate isn't a giant pain in the ass. Oh. I'm sure that will happen soon enough. <laughs> Time, I still want oatmeal. <laughs> Uh, he's impossible. Nobody. Impossible. I exist. I believe what you meant to say is I give up. He's improbable. Oh. Woo. Find a better way of dealing with Penny. What am I supposed to do? Oh no. Toast on a Monday? Now that would be impossible. <laughs> and you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Catch even more flies with manure. What's your point? <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it, man. Boy, that does smell good. Don't put it in the bin. Too bad it's Monday. Yeah, Shadow, you in damn impassable, you. Him, the night manager, went on maternity leave, and her husband's name is Sandy, right? Why did it always when she was in the house? Man, is a woman named Sandy whose husband's name is Kim. Okay. Easily calculable. We begin by identifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing coincidence. Can we leave it at that? Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, Penny. It's as if the Cheesecake Factory is run by witches. Oh. It's as if you don't think I'll punch you. Oh, shit. Fine, whatever. Are you finished? How thoughtful. Chocolate? Oh no. Um, yeah, sure. Oh no. <laughs> what was that? You did it. <laughs> you said be nice to Penny. I believe offering chocolate to oh. someone falls within the death. Be nice. <laughs> It does, but in my experience, you don't. you don't. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophy. You, obnoxious and insufferable. Oh, wait, why are you guys worried? I mean, why are you worried? I would. Army repeal, don't ask, don't tell. Raj and I are going to a goth club in Hollywood to hang with the night people. Oh, wow, you're actually going out like that? No, I'm going out like this. <laughs> They're called tattoo sleeves, look. I got them online, Raj got a set too. <laughs> Does exist. Hot sex with some freaky girl with her business peers. Take them off and I can still be buried in a Jewish cemetery. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. Go to a goth nightclub. Really? Bazinga. <laughs> you walked into you walked into that one. Yeah, I think we'll pass. Is oui. the missus speaking for the couple now? <laughs> oh. Yes, you bet she is. In this case. <laughs> yes, she's pushy and yes, he's whipped, but that's not the expression. <laughs> Come on, I want to stop at Walgreens and pick up some more eyeliner. They're gonna get beaten up at that club. <laughs> They're gonna get beaten up at Walgreens. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sheldon, I almost sat in your spot. No, no, no chocolate. Oh, what is? 
Thank you. Look at it. Look at his face. <laughs> oh no. I think we're fitting in quite nicely. But what's so gothic about vodka and cranberry? It looks like blood. We are lost, boy. Good for you. I'm actually much more lost than he is. What's the difference? Nice thing. Thanks. We buy you ladies a drink? Light beer. Well, Wiki, how about that? I'm Howard. Raj. I'm Bethany. I'm Sarah. Not that anyone cares. <laughs> Party Pooba. Do either of you ladies enjoy the novels of John Grisham? <laughs> How is I living bury myself for now on? Oshikuru Demon Samurai. I feel like it's on Netflix. It's anime. It's anime, yeah. Anime. You know, I knew a girl in high school named Anime. Mm. Anime Fletcher. It's not anime, bro. You're here a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> Too much? I'm sorry. Zip. Thank you. Chocolate? Oh, no. I just let his face every time. Let his face. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know what? Hold on, let me take this in the hall. Chocolate. <laughs> okay. What's going on? I know what you're doing. Very good. <laughs> oh my day. Oh. You can't train my girlfriend like a lab rat. Literally, that's what he's doing. It turns out I can. <laughs> well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Pleasing you is there, Leonard. You weren't happy with my previous approach to dealing with her for conditioning techniques, building on the works of Thorndike and B.F. Skinner. I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball. <laughs> this has to stop now. I'm not suggesting we really make her jump out of a pool. <laughs> the bazinga was implied. <laughs> Tweaking her personality. You're sanding off the rough edges, if you will. No, you're not sanding Penny. That I am forbidden from applying a harmless, scientifically valid protocol that will make our lives better? Our lives? Bad, Leonard. <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe you even have that next to him. So what do you guys do? Oh, you know, goth stuff, goth magazine. Uh, black and salmon? Yeah, you know, the dark sciences. I am an astrophysicist, and a lot of that takes place at night when there are vampires and miscellaneous undead. Let's be honest. That's really cool. Well, okay, if you like space stuff, I design components for the International Space Station. Sure, you know, no one can hear you scream. Why are you ending like that, bro? I work at the Gap. How about that? I've been to the Gap. I've been there as well. I work there too. Not that Those anyone cares. cares. You're not even making conversation, bro. Why don't we go somewhere else and have some fun? That's our weird stuff. We are fun people dark and fun men gave me full for I'm just gonna funny back let's go oh no that's fun are you happy now did you think I use a condom there <laughs> oh my god she did what could she possibly be talking about for so long waitressing at the cheesecake factory <laughs> is a comp <laughs> Bazinga. Bazinga. <laughs> Using positive reinforcement techniques, I could train that behavior out of her in a week. If you let me use negative reinforcement, I can get done before we go to bed. Squirting her in the face with water. We're talking very mild electric shocks. Tissue damage whatsoever. Forget it. Oh, come on. You can't tell me about the possibility of building a better girlfriend. Penny's qualities, both good and bad, are what make her who she is. You mean like that high-pitched, irritating laugh? Yes. <laughs> He's speaking about it. Uh, You're not changing how Penny laughs. That would be incongruous. Or the whole voice to a more pleasing register. Sorry, guys. That girl is freaky. You come again? Freaky. Freaky? Yeah, freaky. <laughs> chocolate? Have a chocolate. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's working, guys. It's actually working. Oh no, he's not gonna get one. You seriously going to deface your body just on the possibility you could have cheap sex with a strange girl you met in a bar? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Takes my temperature orally now. <laughs> well, I can't really decide between a screaming devil, this mean little skull, or. And I'll see if I can make him smile. Yeah, I'd like the mean little skull, please. With my luck, hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> That's just rubbing alcohol. Oh, 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 oh. I'm putting on the stencil. This. It's <laughs> <laughs> a big deal. You've done this before. I haven't. Look. Yeah, I think I covered that. But I was summing up goth. We're just guys. Very, very smart guys. And I wouldn't blame you if you walked out of here and never wanted to see us again. I'm leaving. I'm leaving too. Nah. Not that anyone cares. Okay. When we tell the story, let's end it differently. <laughs> I'm going to make some warm milk and then turn in. Engaging in amorous activities, you'll keep the decibel level to a minimum. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Unbelievable. I was just thinking we should probably turn into. Come over and put it together. You can stay at my place. Yeah, but if we stay there, we won't have to be quiet. Let's go. Interesting. Sex works even better than chocolate to modify behavior. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else has stumbled onto that. <laughs> okay, wait, how about this? They're yeah, still thinking about it. The two girls in the club had two friends. I like it, I like it. Despite their goth like nature, engaging my olfactory sense helps make it real for me. Did, like jasmine and honeysuckle. Oh my days. See demonic hokey pokey for us. Let me just say my story all the way through and then you can say yours. And then the four girls took us to their place. But we don't have tattoos. What if someone asks to see our tattoos? A very intimate area. Boys, aren't we? <laughs> you, still got, you guys still are thrilled, man. Hot tub. But we just got tattoos. Wouldn't we be concerned about bacterial infection? Okay, they forget the hot tub. What a great night. Wait, what yeah. a great night? Hey, wanna try a country bar tomorrow night? <laughs> Yeah, maybe we'll get lucky with some sexy cowgirls. This is I wonder how they smell. Oh my days, Raj. This movie baffles me every time we watch it. Don't feed the gremlins after midnight. <laughs> Don't get the gremlins wet. How hard is that? Hi, guys. Hi, honey. Hey. We're honey now, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. no, hey. Since their relationship became carnal, term of endearment, thus distinguishing him from those she calls sweetie, usually in an attempt to- You're boring people, sweetie. Sometimes she omits the veil entirely. Celebrating Columbus Day. We're watching Goonies, Gremlins, and Young Sherlock Holmes. Okay, what do you watch on Thanksgiving? Oh, you know, that reminds me, I usually go back to Nebraska for Thanksgiving, but this year they're calling it off on account- Oh, just a big misunderstanding. You know, you'd actually like my brother. He's kind of a chemist. Kinda. Drugs. Anyway, I was thinking I'd have Thanksgiving here and you are all invited. Will you be serving cranberry jelly or cranberry sauce? I what? guess I could serve both. You guess? You don't seem to have much of a handle on this. Here, my mother has all the relatives over and cooks up her famous Terbriska fill. Wait, what? what? I don't have to eat the Terbriska fill. <laughs> Good news is he has no problem with my mother's Terbriska fill. <laughs> Dave, but go on. He says he's getting deported. Oh, wow. He's getting deported. The U.S. government is going to expel him. He could then either return to his native India, immigrate to another country that's willing to accept him. Personally, I'd choose pirate. Penny, would you mind stepping outside so we can speak to him? But the man really needs to work on his girl issues. Life of piracy. Even today, I understand that's an all-male profession. <laughs> Sorry, I... Lost my cool. Ah, uh, no, you lost a cool every time there's a girl in your room, bro. Six months ago, my research testing the predicted composition of trans-Neptunian objects ran into a dead end. My visa's only good as long as I'm employed at the university. By the way, when I say squat, I mean diddly squat. Checking email. Setting up Wikipedia entries. Six months? Hey, did you know Netflix lets you stream movies on your computer now? And you've continued to take the university's money under false pretenses? Ethical for an astrophysicist. Well, they're practically mandatory for a pirate. <laughs> go back to India, it's hot and loud and there's so many people. You have no idea, they're everywhere. <laughs> Duh. Guys, think, how do we keep Raj in the country? Why doesn't he just get another job? <laughs> what are you asking me for? I don't know if you can talk now or not. <laughs> Miss you so much. You know at the Mumbai McDonald's, you can't get a Big Mac? Wait, you can't get a Big Mac? Is this still going on? I hope, that, I hope not. 
which in India, believe you me, is really not that special. <laughs> Hello, Raj. Hi, Sheldon. Forgive me, as you know, I'm not adept at reading facial cues, but I'm going to take a stab here. You're either sad. Sad. Too sad. I was going to say sad. I don't know why I had. I think I'll miss you most of all. <laughs> why don't Hindus eat beef? We believe cows are gods. In Hinduism, cattle are thought to be like God. Tell me about my own culture, Sheldon, and the mood I'm in, I'll take you out, I swear to cow. I'm sorry. Me too, I'm just, I'm a little on edge. Your entire life seems to be crumbling around you, and your future appears bleak at best. You're wrong about Hinduism and cow. Raj, guess what? Professor Laughlin is looking for someone to join the stellar of- You're kidding, that's fantastic! <laughs> that's happy, right? Yeah. Nailed it. Pass up the opportunity to work with you on your tremendously exciting- Yeah, you gotta tell him, Daddy, that's right. Come on, feel sherry. A little early, isn't it? If you don't mind, I'll hold off until sunset on Titan. Uh -huh. Feeling you're going to fit in just fine, Dr. Kudrabali. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry, am I late? She'll be heading up our data analysis Oh, no. Team. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How did you correct for the selection bias? Mm. Well, I ran a simulation. Oh. I need to correct for the observational efficiency. Thank you. Would you like to hear more about it in my hot tub? Oh no, 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 no. So when do I start? I didn't get the job. How could you not get it? He's British. I... Where, when is? Since Gandhi, they haven't liked us very much. <laughs> Are you saying that he discriminated against you because we should file a complaint? Complaint's been filed. <laughs> Just against you. Just against you. I'm gonna be deported. Sent home in disgrace. Will you come visit me in India? Gee, that's like a 17 hour flight. How about I meet you halfway? 600 miles off the coast of Japan. Tell you what, we'll Skype. <laughs> Did you get the job with Professor Laughlin? I assumed as much, but never fear. Turn to save the day. Just say it, bro. Odd, usually he's met by cheers. Exploring the string theory implications of gamma rays from dark matter and I didn't cheer at my entrance, it's too late to buy into the premise. Anyway, I got some extra money from the head of the department and Raj... For you? You want me to work with you? No, for... For me. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way. I'd rather swim buck naked across the Ganges with a paper cut on my nipple from a viral infection than work with you. For me. <laughs> Of course I'm busy. Yes, please. How may I help you? Ah, oh, no. I've reconsidered your offer to let me work with you. For, for me. me. Yes, for you. I do, however, have a few conditions. I'm impressed, Ross. Thank you. I reject them all. <laughs> Then you leave me no choice. I accept the job. I'm sorry. I'm not giving you the job. I'm simply affording you the opportunity to apply for it. Ah. Uh. You're kidding. All right. So. <laughs> That's what you wear to an interview? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pulling strings are... <laughs> Sheldon, for God's sakes, don't make me beg. beg. Bazinga! <laughs> Fallen victim to another one of my classic practical jokes. I'm your boss now, you may want to laugh at that. Elves, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah, with them working late so much, we get some privacy. Mm -hmm. Wanna get a little crazy? I'd slide over to Sheldon's spot and make out. You are a dirty girl! Oh God, how did he know? Oh my days. Hi, Howard. <laughs> Am I interrupting? D yeah. Guess I should have called. Yeah, what's, maybe. What'd you want? Tonight's the night I usually go line dancing with Rod. <laughs> I bet he's working with Sheldon. You know, whatever. So I can hang for a little while. <laughs> oh my. Maybe all our periods will sync. <laughs> Ooh, dark matter. We better bring a flashlight. Okay. <laughs> I make the jokes. It's not the time for joking. <laughs> Sheldon? What? I need an aspirin. Top desk drawer. That was fun. <laughs> thank you. Oh, Leonard, honey, you don't have to say thank you every time we have sex. Tomorrow you're gonna get a card in the mail. Just throw it away. Say thank you and that don't. Ah. Top of the morning to ya. What are you doing here? Perfect meal for après l'amour. <laughs> Kill me. By the way, I couldn't help overhearing your big finish. Bravo! <laughs> oh, no, no! See, if you had killed me when I said kill me, I wouldn't have had to hear that. Uh, Howard, we need to talk. So, Pumps, please understand that it's not that we don't want you around, but Penny and I occasionally need some alone time. Do you? The third wheel. <laughs> 
Sorry, I should have seen that. Hey, Dad, but what? You need to finish your breakfast first. Eggs while well, they're still hot. Enjoy. Are we terrible people? I don't know. Get, get him. Bring him back. He's puppies at the door. Okay. Howard, come back. No, oh, you guys have me scared. <laughs> is much too low from what we'd expect from this collision. Do you understand we're talking about dark matter colliding in oh, outer no. space? Yes. I'm the astrophysicist. Astro means space. Astro means star. Okay, well, let me just tell you, if we were having this argument in my native language, I'd be kicking your butt. Is your native language. <laughs> okay, you got me there, but you... <laughs> God, you think that every thought that comes out of your head is pure gold. Well, let me tell you something. Some of those thoughts are pure caca. It means doo-doo. All right. In this context, with me means for me. Oh. Yeah, well, in this context, <laughs> prove it. Okay. Here's where we derive. Oh, oh, silly. Forbid you from writing on my board. You are not my superior. I am in every way. Uh. Nice working with you. For you. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. <laughs> he has losing. I'm busy. Doing what? <laughs> All right, you've made your point. What do you want, Sheldon? And it turns out you were right. You were wrong. I didn't say that. <laughs> Nevertheless, I didn't say it. <laughs> it's all bueno. though. I would like you to come back and work for me. In this context, for me could mean with me. I reject them all. I'll take the job. <laughs> <laughs> Monday. Wait, you have to drive me home. <laughs> I walked. So walk home. I can't. There's a big dog outside. <laughs> I can't even, wait, let me even try nothing. I can't do it. Can you do it? I just can't do it. I am in Dushardin's position right now. You know what I mean? Thank you for tuning in and also do subscribe to the channel. And what do you think of um, season three so far? What do you think of season three so far? Let me know below in the comment. Okay guys, thank you and we'll see you soon. Peace.